This is chapter 12 of Charlotte's Web. It's called A Meeting. One evening, a few days after the writing had appeared in Charlotte's Web, the spider called a meeting of all the animals in the barn cellar. I shall begin by calling the roll. Wilbur, here, said the pig. Gander, here, 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 said the gander. You sound like three ganders, muttered Charlotte. Why can't you just say here? Why do you have to repeat everything? It's my idio, idio, idiosyncrasy, replied the gander. Goose, said Charlotte. Here, 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 said the goose. Charlotte glared at her. Goslings one through seven. Bee, 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 bee. This is going to be quite a meeting, said Charlotte. Anybody would like to, would think we had three ganders, three geese, and 21 goslings. Sheep? Yeah, said the sheep all together. Lambs, yeah, said the lambs all together. Templeton, no answer. Templeton, no answer. Templeton, well, we are all here except the rat, said Charlotte. I guess we can proceed without him. Now, all of you must have noticed what's been going on around here the last few days. The message I wrote in my web praising Wilbur has been received. The Zuckermans have fallen for it and everyone else. Zuckerman thinks Wilbur is an unusual pig and therefore he will not want to kill him and eat him. I dare say my trick will work and Wilbur's life can be saved. Hooray, cried everyone. Thank you very much, said Charlotte. Now, I called this meeting in order to get suggestions. I need new ideas for the web. People are already getting tired of reading the words some pig. If anyone can think of another message or remark, I'd be glad to weave it into the web. Are there any suggestions for a new slogan? How about Pig Supreme? said one of the lambs. Mm, no good, said Charlotte. Sounds like a rich dessert. How about terrific, 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 said the goose. Cut that down to one terrific, and I think that that will do nicely, said Charlotte. I think terrific might really impress Zuckerman. But Charlotte, said Wilbur, I'm not terrific. That doesn't make a particle of a difference, said Charlotte. Not a particle. People believe anything they see in print. Does anyone here know how to spell terrific? I think, said the gander, it's T double E double R double R double I double F double I double C C C C C. What kind of an acrobat do you think I am? said Charlotte. I would have to have St. Vitus's dance to weave a, a word like that into my web. Sorry, 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 said the gander. Then the oldest sheep spoke up. I agree that there should be something new written in the web. And if Charlotte needs help finding words, I do believe she can get them from our friend Templeton. The rat visits the dump regularly and has access to old magazines. He can tear out a bit of advertisements and bring them here to the barn cellar so Charlotte can have a copy. Good idea, said Charlotte, but I'm not sure Templeton will be willing to help. You know how he is, always looking out for himself and never thinking of anybody else. I'll bet I can get him to help, said the sheep. I'll appear to his baser instincts, of which he has plenty. Here he comes now. Everyone keep quiet while I put the matter up to him. The rat entered the barn the same way he always did, creeping along cl close to the wall. What's up, he said, seeing them assemble. We're holding a director's meeting, replied the sheep. Well, break it up, he said. Meetings bore me. And the rat began to climb a rope that hang was hanging on the wall. Look, said the old sheep. Next time you go to the dump, Templeton, bring back a clipping from a magazine. Charlotte needs new words that she can write her messages in the web to save Wilbur's life. Let him die, said, said the rat. I should worry. You'll worry all right when next winter comes, said the sheep. You'll worry all right on a zero morning next January when Wilbur is dead and no one comes down here with a nice pail of warm slops to pour into the trough. Wilbur's leftover food is your chief supply, Templeton. You know that. Wilbur's food is your food. Therefore, Wilbur's destiny and your de destiny are closely linked. If Wilbur is killed and his trough stands empty for a day, you'll grow so thin we could look right through your stomach and see objects on the other side. Templeton's whiskers quivered. Maybe you're right, he said. I'm making a trip to the dump tomorrow afternoon. I'll bring back a magazine clipping if I see one. Thanks, said Charlotte. The meeting is now adjourned. I have a busy evening ahead of me. I've got to tear my web apart and write terrific. Wilbur blushed. But I'm not terrific, Charlotte. I'm just about average for a pig. You're terrific as far as I'm concerned, replied Charlotte, and that's what counts. You're my best friend, and I think you're sensational. Now stop arguing and go get some sleep.